going to tell you exactly how you should do your bike commuting setup. While there are things you should never leave home without, like roadside repair kits, the rest are up to you to decide on what is applicable for you. There are so many different ways to do this. What I'm about to show you is based on my experience of bike commuting combined with my experience of going on long rides. I didn't buy all these at the same time, and neither should you. I just figured out what I needed after every ride and went from there. This is just to give you an idea. Now that's out of the way, let's ride! Ito ang bike ko. This is a Sunfeed Kepler gravel bike which I have affectionately called Kepi. Pinili ko tong bike na to dahil it gave me the most bang for buck value na swak na swak sa budget ko. This bike is good as is without any upgrades yet also provides a good platform should you choose to do so. It is mated with a 2x8 mix Shimano Clarisse group set and mechanical disc brakes. The 5034 crank and 1134 cassette provides me with enough variation in gearing that makes climbs and going fast easy yet still challenging. It is all aluminum which in my mind is a good compromise between weight, durability, and cost. And it has a 700x33 wheel set that came stock with enough clearance to go up to 700x40. At least, you know, sabi na specs, so we'll see. So far, this is pretty much all stock. Aside from the saddle, the bar tape, which I have double wrapped for added comfort, the pedals, which I have upgraded to an SPD clipless system, and by the way, you can check a video about that in the description below, and pinaltan ko din yung wheel set dahil nasira yung hub. So far, after a year of ownership, this is the bike that I have owned the longest and used the most, which is a testament of how much I appreciate it. And that is saying a lot because I have never owned a bike for more than a year. Three things I always keep in mind before I choose an accessory to bring on my bike rides is number one, it has to be compact. My hands needs to be free at all times. Number two, it has to serve a purpose. If it doesn't serve a purpose, I leave it at home. And number three, I don't like things in my pocket. So tignan naman natin ang current setup ko. Ito ang handlebar bag ko. Dito ko nilalagay mga valuable bus ko when I'm on a ride. I chose this bag because it serves two purposes. One is that it is a handlebar bag and also it converts into a shoulder bag. So tignan naman natin yun kung ano laman niya. Teka, di mo kailangan to. Tapo na yan. Lagi ako may dalang extra face mask just in case masira yung primary ko. Hand pump just in case maflatan sa daan. Nalagyan ng loose change na pwede mo rin gamitin actually pang self-defense. Hampas mo sa mukha na maglanako yan kung gusto mo. So ng bahay kasi ayaw natin maging palaboy. Ito naman ang push key. This is actually a very convenient piece of equipment. This is used as an extension ng kamay mo to open doors and push buttons while keeping you safe from infection. Gawa siya sa 100% copper which is good at killing viruses and bacteria lalo na sa panahon ng pandemya ngayon. Other things I bring with me is of course my phone. And of course, never forget ang aking front light at tail light. And my bike computer which tells me speed, distance, and time. My multi-tool for roadside repair. And a backpack. Oh, oh backpack yan. O oh, ba Backpack. Perfect to if you make unplanned purchases like prutas, gulay, or <coughs> bike parts. Siyempre, my wallet. Quarantine pass kung kakailanganin pa. Sa saddlebag ko naman nilalagay yung mga bike specific na tools ko. My bike lock. Ito yung mga isa sa mga bagay na hindi mo dapat tinitipid. Patch kit in case maflatan. Spare interior tube. This is for mga situations kung hindi na kayang i-repair ng patch kit yung flat. And of course, my tire lever para madali mo matanggal ang gulong from the rim. At syempre, yung hindi mo pwedeng kalimutan sa lahat, siya ay si Jesus Christ. Leave Jesus in our hearts forever. Okay, punta naman tayo sa mga backpacks ko. Ito yung backpack na ginagamit ko pag pumapasok ko sa office or pag may mga dala mga documents. Ito naman yung backpack ko na dinadala ko kung medyo long ride or kung pupunta ako sa groceries or marami akong dadalhin. Ito naman yung pang waterproof sa kanilang dalawa, just in case umunan lang sa daan. Kailangan mo lang siyang itaklob sa backpack mo like this. 
at waterproof na siya. So, protected na yung mga laptop mo, mga documents, etc., etc. Okay, let's go to our protective gear. I own two helmets. Ito yung helmet na ginagamit ko pag umaga lang yung ko dahil mas magaan siya at mas presko sa ulo. Ito naman yung helmet na ginagamit ko pag anakong gagabihin ako dahil reflectorized siya. My gloves para iwas kalyo at dagdag protection na rin. My arm sleeve para hindi ka mangitim. I find that this is more cost effective than using sunscreen. And my face mask. I choose this kind of face mask because mahirap kasi huminga do sa ordinary type kapag basang-basa na siya ng pawis. So this is my usual setup. I use cycling shoes because I use clipless pedals. You can offer rubber shoes but flat sole is still best for socks and you will do. High cut is better para protection na rin sa mga gasga sa legs. I don't use bib sets kasi hindi ako ganun ka confident sa katawan ko to enter the supermarket without any underwear. And I wear bright colored shirts for better visibility. I also have a compact raincoat na on the way pa lang kasi in order po sa Lazada at hindi pa umabot as of the making of this video. Pero the reality is, hindi naman tayo pare-pareho ng needs and wants when it comes to our setup. From bikes, to gears, and even the color ng damit mo, it really boils down to your personal preference. Pero for me, I will always follow my three criteria for my gear. It has to be compact, it has to have a purpose, and I don't like things in my pockets. So tara na, lakad na tayo. Bye-bye, good boy. Sinong good boy? Bye-bye. Ay po! Pero seryoso, sub na mo kayo sa channel namin and watch our old videos. Thank you!